Hey there internet, Keeve here and welcome to the Cars and Keeve YouTube channel and in this video we're going over our favorite company in the detailing world right now, Draft Tools, uh, with all the, the drama with Obsessed Garage and their video on their pressure washers and you know talking about people who get these for free for influencers and you know their their reviews aren't honest. Well mine are. Now why did I buy it? Well, there are too many quarter-inch retractable hose reels out there, and this thing has a really small footprint. The reel itself is basically 12 by 12. Uh, from the bottom to the top right here, which actually isn't just necessarily bottom from top, could be any direction, but it's 14 inches to the top of this. Could we fit it to run an Uberflex hose or this Blue Shield quarter-inch polyester wire braiding hose? $125 when I bought it. I think it's like 130 now. Comes off and, off and on sale. Now this is a proprietary. They didn't come up with this. These are compression fittings. Uh, but being able to find the adapters and everything, it's just not easy. I don't really know what these threads are. I've bought many different types of things to see if I can convert these. And I just haven't found the right one yet. But my idea is, is to take one of these. So this is a field repair kit uh, for a high pressure hose, whether it's hydraulic, air, water. But I basically take the hose that comes out of here, cut it at some point, convert it to quarter inch, and then we'll be able to convert it, whether through this right here, to be able to use with this hose, or a quarter inch to M22 14 millimeter to attach this hose, and then see if they fit, see if they retract nice, see how everything works, if it can hold the pressure, because it already comes with this compression fitting here, and it already has an M22 that can hook up to your pressure washer. Obviously, you could change this to a quick connect. Uh, so that's already there. And then obviously their hose, which isn't a horrible hose. It's better than those stock hoses that come with most guns. It is a little more flexible, but it is not great. It is definitely going to have a lot of memory out of the box. We'll just hook up pressure washer up to it, see how it runs. This might be enough for some people. They don't care about how cool the hose is. They want something slightly better and a smaller form factor. So before we get any further, check out the links for anything in the video. Don't forget to check out carswiki.com. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get to testing. Here's the size difference between this and my fixed fans retractable hose reel. As you can see, it's up against the wall, how much different in size that is. They send these with the unit. Uh, basically, they you drill a hole and you push these in, uh, and then you crank down this nut. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all the hose out, and then I'm just going to Use a really long bit and then lag these into this wood. A really big washer. I should be able to slide this in there and have enough pressure just by cramping this down for it to hold because it's kind of light. Do one more up here. All right, that's on there good. This itself is a little flimsy. Even this is a little flimsy. This one's double-sided, so you have a mount on this side and on this side. This is single-sided, so you only have this one bar, just like this. This obviously is a thinner material than this one. This is way heavier. It reels within the confines. Obviously, it wasn't the most perfect reel in in history. Now it's unreal it to its life. It's a 14 millimeter in 22, so it screws right on. Now we're gonna see if it leaks. Now we can test this water as I turn the water on from my pressure washer. Watch this start shooting out of here. There it goes. All right. There was an M22 swivel gun. This thing's really cool right here. It's 20 bucks. Pretty decent trigger. It's not heavy, heavy, but it's not the lightest. It has rubber top, plenty of room, and it has a swivel M22. So you can go straight to your M22 style gun to this kind of hose or an Uberflex hose. And we have a swivel. You see, there's on. Now, once again, I have gone and uh, done a bunch of stuff and didn't realize I wasn't recording. Uh, I removed the plastic shield, it was just two bolts and a screw on this side. 
And then there was right around here is a little loop that was holding the hose to the base. Two little bolts and a screw. I took both of those out and I unbolted the hose from this side. It's just a swiveled uh, bolt. We're going to use this uh, compression vise right here. Basically, it's just a suction cup cube thing here. This isn't what you would use for crazy stuff, but for just kind of crimping this uh, hose into this, this vise, this suction cup vise works really well for that. Uh, I'll leave a link below for anything in the video. So since we could screw up multiple times, we're going to leave uh, some slack. So obviously we have more, you know, area. This is about where it was tied down to the base. So uh, there's no going back from here, right? Come on. There we go. Just in your rubber tube there, there's uh, fibers wrapped around it, and then there's this sheath. It comes together like this, but this is not how it's installed. So that right there, that's your quarter inch thread. That's actually going to go on the inside of the hose. And it's going to screw down on this. But if you can see on the inside of this, see those threads, those large threads? That screws down onto the hose. And you screw counterclockwise. You're supposed to get down to where that hose is all the way kind of inside there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's all the way at the end. And then we take this and then we go in there and screw this in. Well, that's as tight as it's going to go. You see, basically we have now this repair unit at the end. Is it going to hold? I don't know. We're fixing to find out. Make sure that I have protection down here so I don't get hit, you know, where I'm not supposed to. And I kind of hide behind something. So I think the first thing to do is what most people would probably try to use this for is an Uberflex. So we're going to take our quarter inch to M22. So what we'll do is attach this first and then we'll attach the Uberflex. All right, so we're just going to feed our compression hose part through here. This part swivels, so it's very easy to line this up. Like literally that much. Now we run into an issue here is the M22 fitting is too big to go through these rollers. The good thing is, is it's holding by four bolts. I took these two right here off and then that should be enough as you can see for me to be able to pry one of these rollers off. We just have to get this snuck by. There we go. All right. Run this around one time. We'll hook up our M22. There we go. It's definitely compressing this hose too much, having that. We're gonna have to put that guide back in. Here we go. Well, it can definitely fit the new reflex very easily. And actually there isn't a whole lot of stress on it until I guess you want to pull it at an angle. Even when you pull it at an angle, it still works just fine. Let's put some pressure through it and see what happens. We have the M22. Water is on full blast, but it's just the pressure from the water here. So about 80 to 100 PSI on, on my main wall setup. It's not leaking. Plus water. Let's get it to build water up all the way through the hose. This should be about 900 to 950 PSI. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the power button and I'm going to run because if the thing blows off, I don't want to be anywhere near it. <laughs> it seems to be holding. Now I got this shielded because that little piece is inside of there. So I'm kind of shielded from this side. <laughs> So you see it right there. It seems to be holding. I'm holding this to the side. I'm not putting my face in front of it yet, but I can see it through the viewfinder, but it seems to be holding pretty well and pressure wise.
pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk out in front of it. There. All right, I think we're good to go. That holds pretty well. It looks really good with the Uberflex on there. Now let's try the Blue Shield polyester wire braid quarter inch hose. Let's actually undo it while it's fully pressurized. Seems to be holding pretty well. I mean, we got the slack. Everything's, it's good. I definitely have way more confidence in it now, for sure. Now we're gonna install a female to female quarter inch. Blue Shield hose. I think this hose is about $40 or $50. I'll link it below as well. So the only problem we're going to have with this is how long this piece is from where the repair begins, this crimp, to this, then here, plus this rubber. So see how much harder it is for that rubber to move? But that rubber is movable so we can take that off our straight is still pretty significant from here all the way to here so we're going to have to be careful with how we handle this it's a really weird reeling where it has that really long piece in there so it takes up a lot of room but here we go i'm kind of holding it a little bit trying my best Keep it from going crazy. I still think the better hose for this would be the Uberflex because I think it's more of a nice quarter inch hose. Uh, this is just the biggest one I could find to kind of, you know, show that as well. We have a quarter inch female thread on one side and a three inches quick disconnect on the other side. That's going to allow us to hook up our SGS 28 MTM gun. Water is fully on. So now let's pull this out while it's pressurized. Like I said before, I have way more trust in this repair now. This repair worked out really, really well. And there you go, just out of the box, it works really well. The hose just isn't the greatest. Now it's not the worst hose either, slightly better than what comes in the box with most pressure washers. It does have the swing arm on the side is a little flimsy and the repair wasn't hard at all. So you could do that repair to change the hose to something else. Um, just make sure you do it right. Follow the directions. This does hold the biggest quarter inch hose 50 footer that I know of, which is the Blue Shield polyester braid. Uh, and it, the Uberflex was great with it. I think the Uberflex is the way to go because you can use that M22 fitting as a stopper. So don't forget to check out all the links below for anything in the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Now I've already tested and they def and uh, this has a <laughs> hit myself. Oops, don't do that. Oh my god. I'm just using dang it. Oops, I just dropped. Oh, don't go in the Swiss tracks, please. Also, it fits through here. <laughs> it's a real weird, we, real, it's a real, <laughs>